the word wisdom means? Extremely knowledge. Right, right. When you go into the when you go into the breath of the world, you got the real understanding of the world. Uh, uh, the word wisdom, right, is the ability to make good decisions. All right. That's why King Solomon was known as the wisest man that ever lived, because he had the ability to make good decisions. Now, what's going to be the, the basis? What's going to be the backing, the essence of you making good decisions? It's going to be the scriptures. All right. But you're going to get the true understanding of the scriptures. Out of these churches, you ain't gonna get the true understanding of this church. And one of what's, what's the principal understanding? The fact that you are you are one of the most size chosen people. All right, the people out there in Angola, right, Western Africa, and so on and so forth, they descend from um, the people you know as the Moors and the Moors ruled all of these different places that you got out here. Right, the Moors were uh, in, in rulership around about the 1600s. Right, King James, King King, King Henry the Eighth. You know about King Henry the Eighth? He was a man of color, man. That was a nigger. Well, that was a black man, all right? Uh, 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 um, what else? You got out there in Russia, you got all kind of what you know as, um, you got what you, uh, what you know as, uh, um, I forget the exact term for them, but you got paintings out there in Russia, straight up black men, man, it, like, it, like in royal apparel, because we was in rulership for a certain point. Now, who took us down? The so-called white man, because he knew, right, through the history, who we were. But right? he knew we were the, the most size chosen people, that's why he made it a point to destroy the most size important, uh, the, the, the most size chosen people. And what does that go to show you that when the Lord comes back, who do you think the Lord's gonna come back when He said when He comes back? You don't know. That's a good answer. It yeah, it, it should be everyone. But I'm gonna show you within the scriptures that it's not gonna be everyone, right? I've just told you a story about how we was in rulership, but we're the lowest state right now. We're the most abasive state we've ever been right now, right? You can't look. You get a woman, right? You got a girlfriend. No, right, okay. So let's say you had a girlfriend and you decided to have another girlfriend. What's stopping you from having another girlfriend? Right, but ultimately what's stopping you? This society is stopping you from doing that. That's going to be seen as taboo. But I'll tell you what, if you had a brother and he was a tw twin brother and he decided to be a homosexual, that would be acceptable. But you can't have two women. Doesn't that go to show you that there's something wrong with this society? There's something completely wrong with this society. You can't have two women but a man and a man could get married and then adopt kids. But you can't have two women. Now you go out there into Angola, you tell them to have one woman, man, he's gonna look at you crazy, man. Why, why is that? Why is that? Because within, um, within those different countries, they still uphold certain cultures, right? They go back to the scriptures. And polygamy is one of them. Because you, you be, you know, you're, you're a man of war. Guess what, man? You're gonna be pumped up. You're gonna need to hit some. You're gonna have to get some ass, man. And one woman ain't gonna cut it, man. All right. But like I said, what's my objective is to teach the twelve tribes of Israel and to tell them that they, if they don't get right within the scriptures, they're gonna be destroyed. All right. And I'm gonna show you. You said you you said you made a good point. You made a good answer in that you said you don't know. A lot of people think that they know. Right? <laughs> let's hope that you that, let's hope you keep that same level of humility and I'll show you within the scriptures that the Lord didn't come to save everybody. Now you base your your idea off of the book of John 3 16, isn't it? For God so loved the world, alright, that he gave his only begotten son the blah 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 blah, right? Now in the same book of John, right, this is gonna be John the seventeenth chapter and the ninth verse, man. In the same book of John, he tells you that he didn't come for the whole world. That sounds like a contradiction. I'm gonna read the scripture first. And then we see, then I'll break it, the whole thing down, all right? So this is the book of John, the 17th chapter, right? And the ninth verse, it says, I pray for them, right? This is the Lord speaking. If this was a, a, a so-called Jehovah's Witness Bible, this would be in red. It says, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them that which thou hast given me, for they are thine. That's in the same book. One, one part is saying, I pray, I, I come to save the whole world, but another part is saying he didn't come for the whole world. Sounds like a contradiction until you get the understanding, like I said, of the, the word, the essence of the word. All right? What does the word world mean? Should be your question. Not is the scriptures a contradiction, because we know the scriptures ain't a contradiction. So the understanding of your words must be misconstrued. All right? So what does the word world mean? Right? Is the banking world the same as the footballing world? It's a different world. Yeah, that's a different world. So ultimately, what you have to ask yourself, when he talks about in the book of um, John 3, 16, what world was it? You have to ask yourself, what world was he talking about? And that was the world of Israel. All right, because John 3, 16 was a quote 
from the Old Testament, right? Where, where, where Israel was likened unto a world within itself. All right, and Israel, like I said, is the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, which was going to be dispersed, like you, from the west, west of Africa, like you say, you're, you're, um, Angola is the. I know, you're, I know, uh, the people in Angola are Israelites, but I forget whether it's in. The, I think it's in the west, isn't it? West of, west of Africa, all of those people are Israelites, man. You got Hamites mixed amongst it. You know who the Hamites are, all right? So um, Noah had three sons. You know about the flood, all right? Noah had three sons: um, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, all right? Uh, uh, most of the people come from uh, uh, from Shem. You got the, the Moabites are from Shem. The Ammonites are from Shem. The Ishmaelites are from Shem. The Edomites, right, which is the so-called white people that you see out here, right? They're from Shem. And principally, the, the the Israelites. You know about Jacob and Esau? That's 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 Jacob became Israel. He changed his name to Israel, and Esau became the progenitor of the Edomites, the people who who are in rulership right now, right? And if you remember the story, how did the story go? Right, when Jacob, when Esau was born, he was holding the foot of Esau, right? Because that's how this society is going to be brought down, man. Right, that was indicative of what's going to happen at, right now, man. We was going to drag him out of power, man. See, once you get this knowledge and understanding, you get fired up, man. And what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take him down. But we're going to take him down with our, with our own hands. We can't do that. These guys got nukes, man. He's, Esau's got guns, man. All right? He's got guns, man. So we're going to have to take him down using the spiritual power, which you can only obtain through the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. All right, now this is uh, Isaiah, the 45th chapter, right? Um, and the 17th verse, because I made a point. It was a, a quote from the um, Old Testament, right? Right, now this is um, the exact same words, just a different order. This is John 3, 16. This is the original John 3, 16, but in the Old Testament. New Testament is nothing but the Old Testament, right? There's nothing different about it. Other than that, it was certain things, for instance, the only one of the major differences was the Lord became the make the, the only sacrifice you ever had to make, right? But what was the sacrifice based upon? You're gonna see that in the book of Hebrews, the eighth chapter, and the second verse, uh, in, in, in the second, right? So this is Isaiah, the 45th chapter, and the 17th verse. But Israel, the Negroes, like you and myself, all right, the Negroes, the Hispanics, like you got out there, um, Mexico, those are Israelites, all say, those all got flavor, man. They all got flavor. Well, now, so you, you might be thinking, what's flavor going to do with being an Israelite? The scripture says, right? The scripture says Israel's got the soul of the earth. That's why when you walked up, I knew you was an Israelite. But you dress a certain way, man. You don't, you, you didn't walk like you was dead, man. You seen them? Have you seen a Chinese person walk, man? They walk all, all not, you know, it's comical, but it's the truth, man. It's the truth. They're dead, all right. The other nations are dead because we got the flavor, man. We got the fun. We, be, man, you wear your cap backwards one day. And everybody in the earth do it. All right, you wear, you know, everybody's got one chain around, then you get niggas got called two chains, and everybody got two chains now. Why? Because we're, we're the salt of the earth. The scripture says we are the salt of the earth. That's why I can, you can discern it within the scriptures. All right, it says, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. He shall be uh, not ashamed, nor confounded, world without end. All right? That should be the penny dropping right there. So Israel, going back into the Old Testament, was a world within itself. And it's going to be saved in the Lord, a world without end. Are you going to keep doing this? Are you this, going this, this is going to go on YouTube, man. It's going to go on YouTube. All right, okay, cool, man. Um, yeah, cool, man. Um, I'll get it. Um, really, look, I don't even refer people to my own channel. Because that you know, that, I'm not you know that's not my. I'll, I'll People refer you. Find you, you know, but I'll, you you go to my teachers. Why learn from me? I mean, you're learning now. Okay. But ultimately, you got to learn from the teachers. The, the, you know, the teachers teacher. Mm. You you want to go to the source. You you either get <laughs> you, you either get the wine from me, or you can go right to today. We you can get a glass of wine from me, or you can get a bottle from them. So you see what I'm saying? Where from? Where question. All right. So let me um let me find you a channel, and then um. In fact, if you if you give me you got an email address or, or, or yeah, number yeah, yeah. or something, all right. If you put your number right there, all right. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, yeah, and then I'll email you. I'll email you my my eldest channel, and you can get you know you can get the understanding. And they go into same stuff like this, all right. You just take your time. You understand. You ain't gonna get everything in one day, you know. All right. So um, uh, tools.
Oh, but it's, it's right within the scriptures, man. It's, no, it's nothing different from the scriptures, man. All you got to do is read, you know, really find find um, the contradictions within the society. In between the lines. Yeah, exactly. When you go, when you find the contradictions within the society, that's, you got to dig deeper and that's when you find the truth. All right? And one of those contradictions was that the fact that the, uh, the Lord didn't come to save everybody. Because if you were saving everybody, it's like saving no one. Why is he coming anyway? All right, all right, cool, man. Uh, I'll send you. I'll send you the stuff, man. All right, man. In a bit. All right, because that's one of the main controversies within the society, man. All right. Did the Lord come to save everybody? Did He not come to save everybody? That's not really even a controversy. That shouldn't even be a question. Why am I going to come send my son from my who who was a descendant of my people to save a different people? When I say that, I say that you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, just paraphrasing the thought process of what the Most High would. The most I would have set up, man. Why is the most I gonna set? Uh, 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 is, why is the most I gonna have it to where the the um, the Israelites, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right, get rolled upon by the Romans, right underneath the name of the Maccabees, right, get all kind of persecution that you can read about in the book of uh, Maccabees, the seventh chapter, right. He tells you the story about the ten sons and each and every one of those sons was the seven sons. Each and every one of those sons was uh, 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 was um, uh, uh, um, mutilated. Right, right, and then and then and then um, uh, um, and then killed, man, including the mother as well, man. Where's the most I gonna have that happen, right? And in a complete different stance, he's gonna save everybody, including those same motherfuckers. And, and it has gonna happen to where to where his son comes amongst those people underneath the Romans, and he's gonna save the Romans as well. That's complete madness, man. See, you people are going crazy out here, man. You're going crazy, man. You've you've completely lost the plot, man. You completely lost the logical, uh, uh, the ability to make good decisions, man. Right? You are complete. You completely subvert. Man. Your enemy has told you that your save, your savior, has come to save me as well. What kind of sense does that make? Well, your enemy has come to your enemy has come to uh, 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 to tell you that your savior is going to save me as well. That's complete madness. You agree? That's madness, isn't it? That's complete madness, man. Yeah. All right, man. That's complete madness, man. And the most I ain't dealing with that, man. All right, see, what you got out here, what's rising out here, right, is the rage of the most high, the wrath of the most high, starting forth with the elders and so on and so forth. But that wrath is going to manifest. You see, you, got, you see, when you start getting into these scriptures, really, you get, you get kind of mad, man. Because it becomes a simple day. The scripture speaks about the simplicity within your house side, man. This is a simple thing, man. Why is why is the master gonna send his uh, his son underneath the subjects and save uh, 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 save uh, save the, the uh, save the slave masters, man? What's it, what makes does that sense, man? What sense does that make, man? Right? See, anyways, man. Let me switch back to what I was on, man. All right, and then uh, keep this movement moving, man. It's going. It's gonna. Um, Rouse up, rouse, get myself all uh, roused up. When I was back in the um, book of Mark, Mark, I get get back into the book of Mark, the thirteenth chapter, right? Carry on, you know, with that, man. So this is Mark, the thirteenth chapter, right? And I was at the um, second verse. It says, "And your house, I answered, and said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? They shall not be left one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down." And he sat upon the Mount of Olives. Right against uh, over against the temple, and says Peter and James and John and Andrew asked privately, privately, what the more tell us when shall these things be? So they were in the right spirit, man. They said, When you're speaking about all this, man, it's getting us excited, man. We want the kingdom to come, man. When you gonna set it up? When you gonna, when you gonna do it, man? All right, and this is what the Lord said, man. It says, And your house I then began to say, uh, Brother Moore, he says, Tell us when these things shall be, and your house I answered him, then began to say, Say. Take heed lest any man deceive you, for many shall come in my name. We've got different camps, different 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 agendas, right? Even Esau's got it to where he's pushing, you know, he put, hey, 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 um, I forget the exact quote, it says, don't be even surprised if Satan, uh, even Satan's gonna become as a, 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 one of the angels of the most high. Roughly paraphrasing, man, that's a really rough paraphrase, man. Cause like, you know, I, I forget the, I got the gist of that scripture, but I forget. But you know what I'm trying to say, man. Satan's gonna come. Hey, yeah, he got it to where Cesar Bose out here. These people believe Cesar Bose, the enemy, right? One of the Edomites is the savior, man. That's complete madness. That can a Jake come in that form? Yes. Is the, is the Most High the Son of the Most High gonna come in that way? No. It's in the scriptures. He's gonna come. He came uh, um, with his feet. 
as if refined in the fire, as if brass refined in the furnace, man. He's, he's a, he's a, he was a Jake, man. Well, he was a Negro, man. All right. He says um. He says uh, and he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple, and Peter, James, and John and Andrew asked him privately, "Tell us when they saw things shall be." And says, "What shall be the signs when all these things shall be fulfilled?" And your house I answered, and then began to say. Take heed that any, lest any man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, right? And they shall deceive many, right? And it says, and where you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? It's the time we're in right now, man. We're in a time of wars, right? Rumors of wars. This country is doing this against that country, right? They, they put um, sanctions against this people. All that, man. We're in that time right now, man. Right? Wars and that, man. Right? It says, when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet, for the nation, right, for nations shall rise against nations. So even then, even though right now you got into where you got rumors of wars and all of that, man, the end wasn't going to be yet, right? It was going to come after a certain period of time, and he's going to speak about that now. It says, for nations shall rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in different places, right, and they shall, uh, and there shall be famines and troubles right these are the beginnings of sorrow all right so this is the beginning of sorrow the beginning the precipice the, uh, rather more the precipice means the, towards the end this is the uh tip of the iceberg all right this is just the start we're just getting started man. we're just getting warm we're just getting hot and heated man all right we're just beginning <laughs> you know you, uh, you had that um the old reggae song man with john holt man Right, it's only just begun. I, mean, I, I think of the reggae version, but you know they had. A, I think they had the Edomite version before that, man. But I think of the John Hope version, man. It's only just begun, you know. And that's what we're in right now. The the, the, the destruction of the society is only just begun. All right, but that's a beautiful thing in itself. When I say only just begun, right? But really, it's been hey, the most I it's getting faster and faster. The prophecies being fulfilled all the goddamn time, man. All right. Says here, um, and you got guys out here that'll, that'll say, "Oh, those, 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 those are things for the future, man." As if this thing ain't popping off out here, man. All right, this thing can happen any moment, man. All right, you don't know, you don't know the time frame of the most. So you don't know if he's gonna say to the to, to, to the to, to the script that he put forth, man. He might decide, "Fuck it, man. I'm gonna cut it off here." We've seen examples of the scriptures in the scriptures where the most has done that, man. All right, that's why the scripture talks about hastening in the day, man. All right. Right, you're running a marathon, man, not a sprint. You got guys that take a sprint and then take some rest, man, trying to get their breath back and all of that. And try to get back into it after a while, man. It's a marathon, man. Alright, and you don't know when the end line is. You know you're just gonna pace yourself. That's it. Alright? And I hope they I hope you, you was you was you you was born with enough energy to make it to wherever the end is gonna be, man. That's that's the that's the hey yo, that marathon is a mind fuck, cause you come into the race, man. Alright? You come into the race at a certain period of time, you don't know how much endurance you've been given, and you don't know how much time the most high, time for what time frame the most high is working on. But guess what, man? You're just gonna go by faith and hope that the most high has it to where you are. And I pray how I how I has it to where I be teaching and I still want 100 when this thing gets get gets get destroyed, when this bitch gets destroyed, man. Because that's that's the fundamental essence of what it needs what it means to be a man what you what, what your whole purpose my, my whole purpose of being on this earth is to be man you got guys out here that think they've been born to go clubbing and fucking drive around in bmws and all of that man that's emptiness man that's vanity man well, what edification is that gonna be man well, what legacy are you gonna set up with that man i see and that's another thing man you know you know you nick you know you niggas man you know you negroes hispanics native americans ain't got no legacy you ain't setting up nothing man it's all in van it's all in emptiness man it's all to be seen of men, all right? And that goes to, that goes within the guys with these, in these different camps too, man. You're all about how you're perceived, man. How did how the how the how the, how the nations perceive you? How the different Jakes perceive you, man? All right? But you don't set up no legacies, no 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 businesses that you're gonna set up for your for your kids and all. That. And I say that just for them sake. I ain't saying go go out there and set up business and all that. Because ultimately, we come out here, you teach this word, you done started a legacy. You have seed. If the most I have mercy on you, have seed. Your seed's gonna be all right, man. Right? They're gonna live in palaces, man. Let's just let's just be real about it. You're gonna live, not even mansions. We leave mansions to to, to the two thirds, man. And they might be, you know, <laughs> the most I might have it to where they have castles as well. 
But I damn sure know the Most High ain't gonna have his elect on the same. I beg your pardon. Are oh, you real quiet now? Like I was saying, man. Right? You know, most I ain't gonna have it to where the, the, his elect are gonna be on the same level, right? As a um, as a um, as a two thirds, man. But they're gonna be on in a higher class. So when you come out here, you set up that like legacy, man. I see that's 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 on a higher level of frequency for a nigga. That's too that's too high for a nigga to think about, man. That's too that's too higher frequency. That's too much. That's too much to think about, man. A legacy. What does you you know, man? You, uh, you see, you go you go into where these simple Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, they can only think in one day, man. Or they can only think in a couple of hours, man. What can they can achieve in a couple of hours, man? In a couple of minutes, man. Right, and usually all they can achieve is vanities, man. Right, how how they are seen by this person and how this person perceives them, man. That's so emptiness, man. That's, that should be a, a, a base level of thinking, man. So, but you, when you come out and you push this word, man, that's a high, the, one of the highest frequencies of think, thinking you can be on, man. All right? Going back into the scriptures, it says, For nations shall rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and they shall be famines and troubles. And these are the beginnings of the sorrows. Take heed to yourselves, right? For they shall deliver you up for counsel, right? And it says, um, and that goes into that goes into something else. But really, the point I was getting that day was in the was that, that verse I just read here, where it talks about um, for nations shall rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom, <laughs> right? And there shall be earthquakes, and you've seen all kind of different earthquakes all over the place. I'm going to show you that's the beginnings of sorrows, man. Right, but we're going to see in the book of uh, Second Ezra, the 50th chapter on down, uh, 8th chapter and the 50th verse on down. We're going to see in, um, um, if I get to it, right, I might get to it, right, if I get, um, if I get to it, we're going to see in the book of, um, 